use any yarn you like and a matching crochet hook. You can work your carpet in squares, in small squares, and then you can join them together or you work one big carpet. So I will show you one small that you know how to do this. And I am starting with a simple slip knot. Then we have to chain stitches. Chain so many stitches as you like. You don't have to count them. Or uh, if you work in uh, um, small squares, then you should know the number of stitches that they are always the same. This will be better. Okay, so if you have your number of stitches, then first single crochet across the row. Okay, then at the end of the row, chain five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Then turn your work. Yarn over three times. One, two, three. And then crochet through the front loop only. And always through two. So you have a treble double crochet, I think. Yeah, and you continue doing this at the until you're done with this row. And of course you can use more yarn overs or less. It depends uh, which look your carpet should have. So you decide if you want to have it more fluffy or not. Okay, so this is your first row and what we want to do now, we want to fold it like this and to join, to join this together. So we used here, through these stitches, we used only the front loop and now we will join using the back loop of the same stitch, okay? And we will crochet single crochets. So I'm going through the first stitch here. And I'm using the back loop now. Then yarn over and pull through. And you have your single crochet. And then again through the next stitch. And then I will have to use stitch here. And then single crochet here. So you join you join your work like this together, together. So you have to go through this stitch and through the stitch above to join them. Yeah, and this is how it looks like. So these are your carpet hairs. And then chain one and turn your work and crochet one row single crochets. Actually, you don't need this row. You can also continue with your treble, treble double crochets if you like but I like to have one row in between so I get the same I get the same starting point and I, I do not have to switch uh, the loops all the time where I have to crochet. So if you don't crochet this single crochet row you will have to switch all the time between the front and the back loop. 
each row. Okay, so now if you have your single crochet row, then again chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now we have to crochet through the back loop because you want it to fold it this way. Okay, so if you have this row, then join this through the back loop. You use also the single crochet for this here, but this time we have to go first through this stitch and then through the front loop of our stitches. So this is the other way around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then you continue again crocheting single crochet row. And that's actually what you will do all the time. So this is the pattern. Of course, you have always to alternate between the front loop and the back loop. So make sure you're joining in the right direction. Otherwise, you won't get a carpet, you will get something like a zigzag. So if uh, you crochet the first row through the front loop, then you have to crochet this row through the back loop and then again through the front loop and then through the back loop and so on. Yeah, and this is what you will get so this will be your carpet. And there is also a way to do this using a net uh, or a mesh. And I will also show you how to do this. For our carpet, we need something like a net or mesh or I don't know how you call it. So this one is uh, something to stop a carpet. This is made by Ikea. And of course you need yarn and a crochet hook. I attach my yarn at one corner, it doesn't matter where you want to start, and uh, this is just a usual knot. Okay, we'll start with our chain stitch, so I'm going through this square here and I pull up a loop, and then, oh wait, this looks a little bit weird, yeah, this is better. Okay, and then I chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then yarn over three times. One, two, and three. And we crochet through the next square. Pull up your loop and you should have five, lo five loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull all the way through two. So through two, through two, through two, and through two. So one more time. Yarn over three times. Okay. Then through the next square and then pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And you do this 
until the end of the row and then I will show you how to continue. So this is the height which you get and of course you can start with more stitches and with more yarn overs if you want to have a fluffier carpet. Now I finished my first row and the next row we will start with a single crochet so I'm going through the next square and I crochet a single crochet then I go through the next and then we have to take the next stitch from above And then single crochet one more time through the next stitch and it looks looks wrong wait I have to do this one more time This should be better. Okay, through the next square, then through the next stitch, then yarn over and pull through. You have again your two loops and then your single crochet. Yeah, and you continue doing this until the end of the row. And you get here your fluffy carpet row. So this is what we want to have. Okay, so I finished my row with single crochets. And as you can see, it's all fixed on this side. And now we will start the next row. And for this we will chain again five stitches at the beginning. And for the next stitches, yarn over three times. And then we're not going through the squares of our net. We're going through our, through our single crochets, which we made the row before. Okay, and then one more time, yarn over three times. And then through the next single crochet. And that's all what you have to do. So you continue doing this in rows until your carpet is done. So you will have now always this row with your double, treble, treble or whatever. So you can also yarn over four times, five times, six times. You can also use a puff stitch or whatever you like you can use any color you like you, you can also maybe start uh, in the middle and create some patterns like if you like yeah if you like hello kitty or Vinnie Pooh or whatever so you can maybe crochet also some faces some figures yeah and if you're done with this row then you know what to do so you have your your long treble double treble crochets or whatever and then you would fix this with single crochets into the next square so you would connect this okay and then after your single crochet row, you would start again with five single crochets and uh, doing the same as we did here. Yeah, and that's it. So it's actually easy, but it's a lot of work. So it would be great to see your work. Maybe you can post it on our Facebook page or on the Google, Google Plus page or whatever. So this would be really cool. So yeah, I hope this is helpful and until next time. Bye-bye.